So I want to throw together a quick video to show how to put together this um, fan shroud for the Ender 3 V2. It supports two blower motors. Um, <clears throat> I bought a kit, I'll link it in the description, uh, to replace the fans on the Ender, v Ender 3 V2. And it came with two of these blower motors and I figured, oh, what will I do with the second one and did some research on Thingiverse and ended up finding this fan shroud. Um, it seems pretty popular, but there really wasn't much uh, instructions on how to put it together or anything like that. Um, and I spent a lot of time getting it working in this place and figuring out where all the screws go. So I figured I'd you know throw a quick video together to show um, other people how to get this thing together. So um, first thing, what to print. Um, it comes with three files to print. Um, you've got this bottom blower part. You've got this front panel part, and in the back here, you've got a support bracket. So this bottom piece here, when you load it into Cura, it will be in the correct position, but you need to make sure you turn on supports and make sure that the supports are set to touching build plate only. And I did all of this with PLA Plus on the uh, 0.12 line height so the super quality setting in Cura. As for this front uh, faceplate, you wanna do, uh, it is in the incorrect position in Cura. You need to flip it so this round fan part is on the bottom and print it that way. No supports needed. Uh, you With no supports, I did get some, you know, falling down or warping here but even with supports I mean it would probably make this a rough edge anyways so either way it's probably not gonna look great um, if you care about that you might want to sand this down and paint it all or something and then on the back plate you want to it's again this one doesn't load into cure correctly you have to flip it around so this is the bottom the flat side is the uh, is the bottom in cure and then print that so once you get all these three printed, um, in order to do this, you have to take the entire carriage off of your 3D printer. So I spent a lot of time uh, leveling this x-axis and I did not want to have to re-level it after taking this all apart to get the carriage off. So I figured out that if I unscrewed this almost all the way before it you know, fell inside, um, that it made this loose enough that I could actually take the uh, the belts off. And then all I had to do was loosen these two uh, top wheels, just enough to get them loose, and I was able to pull the whole carriage off. Um, so I think this is a quick way to remove the carriage without having to, um, you know, because otherwise you'd have to take this top bar off and pull this completely out you know, remove your filament holder, and you'd have to at least remove this side um, and take it out. And then you'd have to re realign this side because this side can get out of alignment because these bolts uh, are too loose to keep it straight. So anyways, um, so once you have this off of here is the kind of hard part of figuring out how it all goes together. So I took out my... Uh, uh, hot end. It's two screws um, and I took it off. Um, you have to take that off to get in here so you can push this airflow piece, the blower piece, onto the back of here. And it fits perfectly into these two holes that are already here, these slots that come out. And then the back plate, it has a square here and it fits perfectly into there. Once you get those two pieces together, then take one of the smallest screws that came from taking everything apart. Um, they look like, let's see, this. It looks exactly like this. It's one of the smaller ones. There's one long one of these. You want the smaller one. And you'll take that and you'll put it right there to hold these two pieces together and it goes really snug and firm so you want to screw it from the inside to get it nice and snug 
um, because this it's loose on this side but snug on the other. So you got to screw from this side. Once you get that screw in, this is in this whole thing is solid at that point, connected to your your carriage. So at that point, you can take your two blower motors and push them in. They go in and they click in and they they're really in here good. You want to make sure the uh, part with the exposed fins is on the outside and just push them in. And you'll also need to uh, pull out the, um, the wires so they're not wrapped around the edges uh, like they were stock. You'll need to pull those out. Um, and then on the original one, there's one blower motor and there's two screws that hold that one in. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take those two screws instead and put one on each corner because these are the only corners you're really gonna be able to reach with the, with the screwdriver. And that, they're, they don't even need screws probably. They're in there really snug when you, when you set them down in the way it's, this is printed, it's printed really well or designed really well. But I put those screws in there just to hold it down just in case. So then you'll want to attach this piece here, the front, and you'll have two of these that came out of the, out of the old one that um, held in this fan. And uh, you'll take those two and put them in. They're actually long Phillips screws, and you'll screw them in as far back as you can. And after you're done, this should swing like a hinge, which is really cool design. Um, and then you'll take, this, the, the hot end fan, and you wanna make sure that the sticker is on the inside, so it should look like this on the outside. And it's a, it's a really tight fit, so what, you, what I had to do was kinda come in this way under this tab and push it underneath, and then come in this and press pretty hard to snap it down into place. Um, it took me a while, you might have to try a couple of times, push pretty hard. Uh, but it's in here very snug. It's it's not going anywhere once you get it in there. This tab's going to hold it down, and it's a very, very snug fit. Um, so once uh, that's in, you've got all the fans together. You've got all this connected, and, you know, this opens and closes like this. Um, what you want to do is you're going to want to uh, connect the two blower fans together. So I have these soldered black to black, red to red. And then uh, it's over here. What I'm going to do next is I have uh, all these wires already cut, stripped, and, and soldered. And um, the red and black, they go to your uh, hot end fan, the one here in the middle. They're going to match up exactly red to black, so no worry about that. The blower fans are these yellow and blue. And yellow is positive and blue is negative. I'll repeat that. Yellow is the positive that goes to the red and blue is the negative that goes to the black. So here on this, these blower ones that I attached together, you're gonna take the red here and you're gonna take those to yellow and you're gonna take the black and you're going to take that to blue. And then once you get that together, you're going to want to um, probably, you know, put your hot end back on there. Um, if not, put the hot end on before you solder. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it just yet. Um, but, and then, you know, make sure you clean up everything. I ha uh, have a... Uh, a heat gun and and uh, and uh, what do you call it the uh, the you know the sleeves that you put over these to with the heat gun to to make sure that these don't ever touch. You want to make sure you do a really good job um, making sure none of this is going to touch and it's cleaned up really well so that you don't fry out your motherboard. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I think it just. I wanted to throw this video together to help anyone else out that was struggling. I might do another video once it's done to uh, show it all together in action and what it looks like. And uh, like I said, I'll put a link in the description to uh, where I got this set of fans. It's a full replacement for 
these fans and it all came with one extra one of this fan to go for your motherboard. And uh, that made the motherboard fan much more quiet. So I forgot to mention that I have the uh, the CR touch, the you know the BL touch from actually um, Creality's version of it, and it fit on here just like it normally does. But the blower um, motor was rubbing, so what I did was I took it off and I used an exacto knife and some sandpaper and flattened this ledge. You can see down here how it kind of curves outwards. It did that up here and that's what was hitting the fan. So I basically cut that curve out and sanded it down. It's a very tight fit, but I think it's gonna work now. Um, I don't hear it rubbing anymore. So if you have the CR touch, um, it isn't an exact uh, fit, but at least you can get it to work um, if you need to.